This is the Sumira S adding machine. I already have a video about the Sumira 7 and that is a small adding machine that is the same as this but without that printing mechanism at the back. The front of this is exactly like the Sumira 7 so it has seven uh, input wheels and you can just pull that down with your finger to enter a number. When you enter a number, that number is added directly to the main register up here. You press this bar to clear the input so that you can then enter the next number to add. The register carries automatically. You can clear the register by turning this small uh, lever here, or this crank here. You have to pull out the uh, crank handle slightly to clear this, uh, this uh, stopping knob underneath here. So you turn it around until you hit that knob and then uh, it's all, all on zero. On the left hand side there is a small black uh, knob. You can turn that to lock down this uh, clearing lever, this, this clearing paddle. So now when you enter a number you can just let go and it returns automatically. And that allows you to enter a number several times in quick succession and that is useful for small multiplications. On the uh, Samira 7 that, that black knob is on the right hand side but they've shifted over to the other side to make room for this uh, printing mechanism. Uh, there is a sub subtraction mode as well uh, to enter subtraction mode you move this lever up and that reconnects the register to these wheels through an intermediate gear so they, they turn the other way around. So when you enter a number now it subtracts it. It's a slight improvement here over the original uh, Samira 7 in that it has a larger window so that when this register moves, moves back, you can still just about read it. Uh, it uh, on the Samira 7 this window is much smaller and it just disappears, so you can't see the numbers. To, uh, to clear the register you have to move it back to addition mode because it can't clear when it's in subtraction mode. And now to the printing mechanism. It's a very simple mechanism and it has these uh, printing heads here which are directly connected through chains with the input. When you enter a number that shifts this, uh, the corresponding printing head and then you can uh, Pull this lever down and that pushes the paper onto the printing heads and prints the number that you've just entered. Unfortunately this, uh, yeah, this, this printing mechanism is missing a plastic cover here, a transparent plastic cover that would keep this paper down. But uh, yeah, you can just about see this anyway. Uh, the printing mechanism isn't uh, very good because the uh, yeah the rubber wheel, the platen, has been uh, yeah has dried up a bit and is not as flexible anymore. But uh, yeah, you can just about see it's printed five seven seven with the leading zeros uh, in a smaller type. So you, in this way you can uh, 
print all the numbers that you're adding. Uh, if you are subtracting a number, then the, the ribbon will, will move. In subtraction mode, the ribbon moves up so that it will print in red. So whichever number I enter now, it should print in red. Uh, yeah, it only prints the numbers you, that you're inputting. It doesn't print the total. To print the total, it says 566 now. Essentially what you have to do is just go into subtraction mode and subtract the number that you see here. So uh, enter the number you see here. That makes the register zero, but you now have the, that total that you had is now on the input so that you can print it. The printing mechanism is, uh, is very straightforward. It just has a, a paper roll at the back here that's held on with this, uh, yeah, with this bar, so it's easy to remove. It uses a fairly standard printer ribbon, a two-color printer ribbon threaded through here and yeah when the printer ribbon has moved all the way to one side you can change the direction that it uh, it turns that it shifts just by uh, pushing the the axle that goes through these uh, through the printer ribbon wheels you can it either uh, connects up with this one. When you press, press this side in, it's uh, this side that is uh, driven, that pulls the ribbon forward, so it goes in that direction onto this pull. But if you pull this out, it's now this side that uh, uh, pulls the ribbon along, so it pulls onto uh, this pull. Yeah, this printing mechanism is, is very similar uh, to the the one on the Lipsia Addy 7 that was a similar adding machine like this and uh, yeah it also had a, a version with a printing mechanism and it's very similar to that. This machine was first made in around 1956 it probably wasn't uh, on, in production for very long maybe um, five or six years I'm not entirely sure. Later versions of this uh, this machine had a, a different case that enclosed the uh, uh, ink ribbon. That was the Sumira S. Thank you for watching.